All right, today for core groups, uh, we had a little different uh, church service today. Uh, I got to do some MCN, haven't done that before. And we got a, got a message from Jeff today. Jeff uh, who? Jeff Delwich. Oh. <laughs> and we really appreciated our pastors. We wanted to show them our love that we had for them uh, and everything that we could possibly do for them uh, and all that they do for us. And one thing that brought me to Riverside, or our family actually, is uh, we had had some, how do I say this? Hmm. Well, we were at another <coughs> church, and we moved. We felt the Lord was moving us to another church, and we had gone to several different ones and weren't feeling quite connected. And our son was going to church up here in Hutchinson, and he had mentioned our pastor, the pastor up here, and that he had an accent and that he was uh, really speaking from the Lord. So we decided to try a, a change, and it was a big change for us because we had been at our other church for 23 years. And we came to this church, and once the pastor preached, uh, we completely fell in love with his message and the word that the Lord had given him and continued to bless whatever we had done as family all our kids started to come up here now. And now I'm going to pass it off to Jeff to see what brought him here. Well, what drew us to Riverside, the first time we've been here and then gone and then back again, but the first time drew us, uh, this is just an encouragement for you, is hospitality, the people that greeted us. So those of you that are greeters or are thinking about greeting, it's a very, very important function in the church because we remember coming here and the first people we met, Dick and Sandy Madsen, so warm and so welcoming we couldn't think about going anywhere else after that. The second time we came back I would agree with you is that you who's you? Who's you? Yeah. Curtis? Oh no. no. <laughs> wow comedian. Curtis was that we heard uh, Pastor Arnold we had just been coming back occasionally to visit friends at Christmas time and we're attending another church but we heard Pastor Arnold speak a couple times and we just my wife and I decided he had just had such a heart for the Lord and uh, was so warm and so well welcoming we came back to Riverside so that's what drew us back uh, today I had the honor of stepping in for uh, Pastor Arnold and teaching you all that I'm not a pastor uh, you can call me minister but you can't call me pastor but anyway um, but we encourage you to use this in your core groups if you don't have anything else to use. It's the scripture I finished with in First Thessalonians, and I'll read it to you, and you can discuss it as a core group. But it's kind of an admonishment to um, congregations on how they are to treat each other and their pastor. Dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work and live peaceably with each other. Brothers and sisters, we urge you to warn those who are lazy, encourage those who are timid, take tender heart care of those who are weak, be patient with everyone, see that none, no one pays back evil for evil, but always try to do good to each other and to all people. Always be joyful, never stop praying, be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Christ Jesus. Do not stifle the Holy Spirit. Do not scoff at prophecies. I don't have my reading glasses on. They're on my forehead. Sorry. <laughs> Do not scoff at prophecies, but test everything that is said. Hold on to what is good. Stay away from every kind of evil. Those of you that like lists, you could make a list and you could list, there's a couple of points in here. Do this, do this, do this, make a list and keep that list with you and look at it because it's a good list of things that every member of congregation should practice, especially being patient with each other. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>